<laughs> Sue is quick shots with Sean Doyle. Number three. Which is very cool. And I still feel like we need to be drinking every time we say that. He apparently is a bit of a motorcycle buff. A little bit. And recently got another motorbike. Yes, sir. What do you got? I got a KTM 1190 Adventure. This is the part where I pretend that I know what that means. <laughs> that sounds cool. The adventure part sounds cool. It does. Make sense. <laughs> okay, right on. Are those big? I mean, are they? Yeah, it's a big okay. bike. It's um. There's a whole class of motorcycles called adventure okay. motorcycles, and there, if you remember, you and McGregor went around the world on a bike. Okay. Yeah. You went around the world on a BMW RS 1200 mm -hmm. GS 1200. Sorry, GS 1200R, um, which is a great bike, and I was going to buy a second hand one of those that had 50,000 kilometers on it, and something held me back from doing it. And I went to look at some other bikes, and, and then I test drove another used bike, uh, Triumph Tiger 800, which is a good bike. My buddy David Suckwith drives it. And as I was about to buy it, I went, what was that one? <laughs> so it was the new one. And uh, it was a discontinued uh, 16 model. Beautiful bike. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. bike. And uh, I'm really excited because I feel feel like I need, it's not just the riding, I love riding, but uh, I really want to take it further and I want to start doing trips. Mm. Oh, cool. I want to pack that bike and travel nice. on long distances. Which honestly was going to lead into my next question, like, which is weird for a quick shot, but I'm like, yeah, where would you go? Where would I go? Yeah, I mean, like, are we talking like cross country? Well, I think or? my first trip will be to Manitoulin Island for whatever, a yeah. bunch of days. Yeah. And uh, Ontario's beautiful province and it's huge yeah. Like yeah you can make a major trip by doing that so i want to do that it takes two days just to get out if yeah, you exactly. west. yeah <laughs> i had a car yeah, yeah. Uh, so i want to do that uh, at, at some point i would like to drive down east as well to my folks mm -hmm. you know, on the island but the biggest trip that i would love to do is to go maybe from here over to bc or start in bc and go, and go all the right way across. down the coast all the way down to the oh, tip wow. of south america oh cool that would nice. be an amazing trip that's my dream you could Instagram the shit out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There's, or a, just keep there's a pod, anybody else out there who's interested in this kind of thing? I just discovered a podcast called, uh, I think it's called Adventure Riding or Adventure Biking. Oh, wow. And uh, there was a guy who, has, who traveled for 13 months. And he wow. Did that. He did that oh. trip. And it was an older guy. He was maybe in his late 50s or something like that. And he had just got his license and he ended up doing it. Damn. Yeah. So That's yeah. Your feet, right? Great, great story. So how long was it for you between you, you had gotten rid of your other bike? How long between right. bike so, ownership? So I gave up my bike in 2004 when I moved to California, and I gave it to my dad, sent it down right. to uh, Newfoundland. And so when I would go back to visit, I would ride that one, and now he has a new one, so I'd ride that one. <laughs> <laughs> Small bike. Though. It's got no power at all, that one. Uh, <laughs> But uh, so so 2004 and what are we now? 2017, basically. Yeah. Wow. So this is my first bike since then. So yeah, I've got to be really careful. There was just a woman killed yesterday on Bayview because some jackass did a U-turn. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really just uh, I'm really trying to remember all the defensive driving skills. Yeah. Yeah. See, I mean, I I don't drive, but I do like the idea of just getting out there on a bike or something and just go away. Yeah, it's very meditative. Yeah. Especially not, not you like to get out of the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like outside and just, yeah. yeah. And it's so yeah. immediate. And I don't like, even like walking in the city, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't even like breathing in the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to breathe. Yeah. I spend most of my time underwater in my tub with a snorkel. <laughs> and your rehearsal. And your, and yeah. your rehearsal. <laughs> you, know, you know how long I had to find a way to get a waterproof thing from my bed? <laughs> Um, there's a great book of this, of this, I can't remember his name, Simon someone, and he has written numerous books about traveling the world on a motorbike before it was ever trendy, I mean, he, right. you know, 20, 30 mm -hmm. years ago. And his whole thing is just the, the immediacy of actually being in an environment where you're not protected by the cage of a yeah. car, and that you're actually forced to deal with your environment. In yeah. Mm -hmm. way, right? When it rains, when it snows. Yeah, yeah. and, and the people, and, hot. and you know, uh, yeah, so it's exciting, I'm really looking forward to that. Sean Doyle, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, guys. Oh.